Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this face makeup. This is a full face of products that YouTubers made me buy. So all of these products, some random video on the internet made me buy it. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see how I got this face makeup, just keep watching. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my face makeup and this is going to be a video of a full face of stuff that youtubers made me buy. I did film this eye look which obviously it's not done yet but I use the Sephora Pro editorial palette and Raw Beauty Christie made me buy that one. My face is washed and moisturized and ready to go so the first thing I'm going in with is this Smashbox photo finish primer water and Casey Holmes made me buy this one. that I would usually go in with is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer, but I don't think a YouTuber made me buy that. So I'm going to go in with the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Primer, which Tati, I believe, is why I got this one. And I use this as a pore filler. <laughs> This foundation combination, which Nikki Tutorials is the reason why I use these together. I did a wear test on this combination, so if you want to see that, I will link it down below and in the eye over here. Take a couple pumps of the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and then a couple pumps of the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And I mix those two together. Lately, what I've been doing is I will take my Morphe M439 and I buff out my foundation and then I go over the top of it with my sponge. Which this brush, Jaclyn Hill, is the reason I got this because I got her favorites bundle. This combo my forehead has just gotten so bad with the lines and the wrinkles yay for getting old I guess so I am just really careful to put a small amount of product onto my I'm gonna build up the coverage a little bit on my cheeks with this my skin is a little dry right now and it's weird so then I'm gonna go in with the highlight and contour sponge from morphe and just blend out a little bit more and this sponge Jaclyn Hill made me buy that makes my foundation application a lot shorter when I go in with the brush first and blend it out really easily and then I go in with the sponge so for concealer today I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer weightless concealer and Nicole Cutler made me buy these I have the shade light neutral and fair neutral so I go in with light neutral on the inner corner to brighten and right on the center of my face and then I go in with the light neutral for the rest <laughs> Morphe sponge again. I'm going to blend that out. I like this concealer because it's a lot more hydrating. So if I'm having a very dry under eyes day, I go in with this concealer. So I'm going to prep my powder for my under eyes. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and Nikki Tutorials made me buy this powder. I know tons and tons of YouTubers rave about it and it's really great, but I think that's the YouTuber that made me buy it. I'm just going to pick up this Morphe E8 and really make sure all those creases are out. are 
as much blended out as I can. Get that on my forehead. And then I pick up the powder on my sponge and just pack them over. I have like two really bad lines in my forehead. They're like awful. Then picking up my Morphe E41 and picking up more of that powder, I'm just setting the rest of my face. My nose is so dry and like my eyes right here are so dry, it's weird. Next, taking my MAC Fix Plus, which Jaclyn Hill made me buy this, I'm just going to spray my face. And I like to spray my face after I put my powder on just to melt it all together. Next for contour, I'm going to take this Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette from Tarte and Nicole Cutler made me buy this. This is what it looks like. I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up Carrot and a little bit of princess cut and I'm going to take that on a Morphe R2 brush for the nose contour I'm just going to take this BH number no. 6 brush and pick up carrot really lightly. For bronzer, I'm going to take the Hula Bronzer, which Manny MUA made me buy this. And I'm taking this Wet n Wild Holiday Brush. I think it was the powder brush. the RCMA no color powder Kathleen lights made me buy this one I'm gonna take that highlight and contour sponge from Morphe and I'm gonna carve out my contour <laughs> the sides of my nose a little bit. Next I'm going to take this Tarte blush which tons of YouTubers rave about their blushes. I think Raw Beauty Christy. She got the Tarte color wheel and that made me really interested in this so I am taking Genuine and Breathtaking. <music> Today I'm taking the Milani Rose Glow palette and I'm going to pick up the pearl shade. And I believe it was Kathleen Lights that made me buy this. my usual combo right now I can't for the life of me think of a lipstick that I bought because of something a youtuber said but this is the Lorac highly pigmented lip lipstick in minimalist and then I go in with that same highlighter the pearly shade and I tap that out on the center of my lips then I'm going to spray my face with the Milani Make It Last, which Kathleen Lights made me buy this. Okay, so I am going to go finish up the rest of my eyes and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I finished up the rest of my makeup. This is what the finished product looks like. I really love how my face makeup turned out today. I think it looks really good. These are all really great products. 
I love all of them. I go through my makeup a lot, so if I don't like a product, I end up getting rid of it pretty quick. I usually give it to my sister. I am pretty good at decluttering. So all of these have stuck around for many months and have earned a place in my heart. So all of these products are products that YouTubers have made me buy in the past. I love how the makeup turned out. I really love all of these products. I think they all work really, really great. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below with any products that YouTubers made you buy, what you fell for, products that you bought and actually weren't as good as you thought they were gonna be. I would love to hear from you guys. I did film this eyeshadow look, like I said, so I will link it down below so you can check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. I post three videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Getting over him, I got no rules, I count him.